Let friends in your social network know what you are reading about bands of rain from Isaiah's soaked portions of Florida's east coast Sunday morning as the tropical storm slowly spun just offshore. A link has been sent to your friend's email address. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. A time-lapse captured along the beach in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, shows clouds from Isaiah's sweeping through the area. AccuWeather bands of rain from Isaiah's soaked portions of Florida's east coast and wind gusts of more than 70 miles per hour were reported Sunday as the powerful tropical storm swirled just offshore, strengthening a bit but presenting less of a threat than initially feared. As of 5 p.m. EDT, Isaiah's had maximum sustained winds of 70 miles per hour and was located about 65 miles southeast of Cape Canaveral, Florida. It was crawling north-northwest at 9 miles per hour. Isaiah's is no longer forecast to regain hurricane strength, the National Hurricane Center said, meaning Florida will avoid the troubling scenario of grappling with the damage from a hurricane while in the midst of being pounded by the coronavirus pandemic. Thankfully hashtag Isaiah's will not be a COVID cane 2020 bracing for disaster hurricane, BAM weather meteorologist Ryan Maui tweeted. Florida dodged a bullet for sure. Still, Isaiah's is forecast to move north toward the Carolinas and potentially make landfall there Monday night, causing high winds, the National Weather Service said. Heavy rainfall totals are expected to cause potentially life-threatening flash flooding over the Carolinas and then the Mid-Atlantic Monday and Tuesday as Isaiah's moves north, the Weather Service warned. In addition, the Hurricane Center said that, dangerous storm surge is possible from Adisto Beach, South Carolina, to Cape Fear, North Carolina, where water rises of 2 to 4 feet above ground level are possible along the immediate coastline and adjacent waterways. A hurricane watch was in effect from South Santee River, South Carolina, to Surf City, North Carolina. Rain and wind from Isaiah's could impact the Northeast and New England by Wednesday. Hurricane Isaias approaches the east coast of Florida August 1, 2020. Photo. NOAA at the center's earlier hurricane warning along the east coast of Florida was replaced by a tropical storm warning Sunday. However, that warning has been extended northward along the southeast United States coast into North Carolina. This means tropical storm conditions can be expected within the next 36 hours. As it tracks north, Isaiah's is expected to pick up speed and lose some of its strength. Slow weakening is forecast after Isaiah's makes landfall in the Carolinas and moves across the U.S. Mid-Atlantic region late Monday and Tuesday, the Hurricane Center said. Upper-level winds took much of the strength out of Isaiah's, said Stacy Stewart, senior hurricane specialist at the Hurricane Center. The storm also slowed down considerably. We were expecting a hurricane to develop and it didn't, Stewart said Sunday.